welcome back to my channel, Aloha Gems Beauty Blog. I am back from vacation. <laughs> we arrived home last night around 11.30 p.m. and uh, we had such a wonderful time. We went to uh, Provincialis, which is a uh, island in Turks and Caicos, and we stayed at Grace Bay Beach at Seven Stars Resort. And can I just tell you, it was amazing and it was exactly what the doctor ordered. Um, my husband planned such a wonderful vacation for the both of us. We did nothing but relax and play in the ocean and it was fabulous. <laughs> so in my intro um, to this video, that is actually Grace Bay Beach and the waters there, they're crystal clear um, turquoise colored water. And when the sun beams down on the water, it's there's you get these little spots of turquoise throughout the water and it just looks like it's glowing. It's like it almost looks like it's not even real. <laughs> That's how beautiful it is. But so we're back now. We're back in California and the air quality is terrible. So you'll have to pardon me if I cough or anything like that because my throat is dry and my eyes are burning. I don't have any makeup on today. I haven't worn makeup for one week. I did not wear makeup when I was on vacation. I just wore a lip gloss and um, a little bit of a highlighter. But I will tell you about that when I uh, go into what I brought for my travels. So I thought this would be really fun to show you guys what I brought along with me um, on my trip. And um, when I got home, I had some packages waiting for me, so I thought that we could do a little unboxing of those as well. How fun! <laughs> All right, so let's get started. So I'm gonna go through my makeup that I brought with me. So I have this cute travel bag. Um, I got it from a kit um, years ago that I ordered from QVC that was um, from Bare Minerals. And it has these compartments in it. So you have this um, pouch that comes out. And then you have this spot for your brushes. And there's slots there that you can put them in. And then you have this zipper compartment that you could put um, more makeup products. So let's go with what's in the pouch. Now, even though I brought all this makeup, I did not wear it. <laughs> I brought it just in case, but... Um, Turks and Caicos is really, really chill and you just wear loungewear. Um, I wore sundresses or my bathing suit the whole entire time we were there, flip flops and sandals, and I did not need to wear any makeup. It was just super, super chill and I loved it. It was exactly what we needed. So I figured, hmm, I can get away without wearing makeup. I'm going to go for it. Give my skin a break. Okay, so I did bring with me three lip products for color. I brought Beach Glow from uh, Fit Glow Beauty. It's a lip color serum. Such a pretty lip color serum. I brought Nudie, another one of my favorites. And then I brought a um, lip color cream, and I brought the color Beach. So I did wear all three of these. So that was probably about the most makeup that I wore the whole entire time I was there. I wore those in the evening. And then I brought my two concealers from Fit Glow Beauty. I have um, C3 and C2. I did not open those. I brought Fit Glow um, Good Lash Plush Mascara. Did not touch it or open it. <laughs> I did bring my um, Plume Science uh, Brow Pomade. And this one is in Ashy Daybreak. And I did not use it. <laughs> and I brought the eyelash color and I did not use that as either. <laughs> so there's that. And then I will show you um, what color products for the face that I brought with me. So let's check it out. Okay, so I brought, I brought my Kosas uh, Tinted Face Oil in shade 5. Didn't use it. <laughs> I brought my Lily Lolo uh, pressed bronzer in Honolulu. So this is just an okay bronzer, by the way. I think it's just a little bit too dark for me right now. Um, it just doesn't really blend into the skin that well, but I'm using it. Um, but it's not a favorite of mine. 
and um, the rest of my makeup is all Fit Glow. <laughs> I really love Fit Glow's color products. Their makeup is fabulous, and I do hope that they come out with more because I love their eyeshadows. I love their blushes. So I brought my favorite blush, which was Beach. I've hit pan on this one, but I do have a backup of this. I love it so much. But the reason why I take the Fit Glow's um, color products with me is because they're so easy to travel with. Look at how tiny they are. Well, not tiny, but small. And everything's right there. So this is Sun Glow. This is my favorite um, eyeshadow trio from them. It's so pretty, it's beachy. I took beachy makeup because it was really warm and sunny there and I just wanted to look like a bronze goddess. If but I didn't wear makeup. <laughs> and then I took my favorite um, highlighter, but I actually use this as an eyeshadow and that's um, Rosé. Such a pretty um, color for eyeshadow. Quick fix for the eyes. I took my Vitaset powder and then Lumi Firm. So this was Lumi Firm and my Fit Glow Lip Color Serums was the only makeup that I wore the whole entire time that I was on the island. What I would do is after my skincare was um, absorbed into my skin, I would just take some Lumi Firm and put it on the tops of my cheekbones, my brow bone, down my nose, and on my cupid's bow. And this with my lip gloss, especially with uh, Beach Glow and my skincare, I look like I had that glass skin. It was so pretty. Um, I just loved it because the air or Turks and Caicos is really humid. The humidity was like 85 to 90% most of the time that we were there. And there was a little bit of rain too. And um, my skin loves humidity. It just like plumps up and it's just so happy. And um, I could get away without wearing any makeup because my skin hardly even got red when I was there. And just the with the, the Lumi Firm, my skincare and a little bit of beach glow, I look like I had beautiful glass skin and it was amazing <laughs> all right so that's my makeup that i brought and i'm not going to show you the brushes because yeah who's really into that anyways right <laughs> i mean i know it's it's nice to see some brushes but mine aren't anything to write home about so i'm not gonna go there <laughs> all right so and then i did bring this uh lip balm with me it's from it's called meta it's coconut lip balm i got this free from pettibore it's a really nice lip balm um it worked really well when i was there i don't use um sunblock on my lips because i get milia or sunblock lip lip um bombs because they give me milia. I have one right here. I started to use one when um, we were there and I had to throw it away because it started to um, give me a bunch of milias right here. I don't know what it is, but zinc oxide gives me milia on my lips. So I cannot use it, but coconut oil has a natural SPF of four. So it worked really, really well for me when I was there. Okay. So this is my goodie bag right here so this is my skincare and my hair care that's in here and i have tools so one day it rained like all morning into the afternoon and the power um got sh would, was gone we had no power um the whole entire island was out of power from like 10 a.m to like 4 30 p.m and it was raining from like midnight to like 3.30 in the afternoon. So we were pretty much stuck in our, in our rooms, couldn't really do anything because of how much it was raining, it was pouring. So um, we just hung out in the room and relaxed and I gave my husband a facial <laughs> with all the goodness I brought. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I brought. So, so sunblock, I did bring the Pacifica uh, SPF 30. This is a um, it's a mineral sunscreen, coconut probiotic, water resistant for 80 minutes. This is fabulous. We fell in love with this. We used it the whole entire time we were there. It's only an SPF 30. The UV index was like eight most of the time. And look, I did get some color. I don't know if you could really tell, but I did not get sunburn whatsoever when I was there. 
And um, I'm like the type of person, like with my skin, if I burn, I turn red and then it turns into a tan the next day, but I did not get sunburned once when I was there. This worked fabulous for myself and my husband. It did leave a white cast on my husband because he's um, kind of like got a caramel skin color. And, um, but he loved it. We love the way it comes out. It comes out like a really nice light lotion. It's a non aerosol can. It's fabulous. It's reef safe. Um, that's one of the things there in Turks and Caicos, which I need, which they need should look into because they have beautiful coral reefs there and fish and they sell no mineral sunscreen whatsoever. It's all chemical sunscreen and they need to like get on top of that so they can protect that beautiful water and those fishies and those reefs in there. So the other sunscreen I brought was this um, garden or goddess garden organics SPF 30 squirt. This we did not like and I'm actually going to put it in the empties bin. It just it was terrible. My husband put this on his face and he looked like a ghost. It was horrible. It doesn't blend nothing. So mm, that was a waste of that one. Okay, so I did bring a mask. I brought the Moana Ocean Lovers Mask from Hanua Skin Care. This was the perfect mask to bring to, with us because we were out in the sun all day and we were in and out of the ocean and playing and, you know, you, you get dehydrated skin and you need to rehydrate it. This was a perfect treat. My husband loved it. And he has oily skin, by the way, that's dehydrated. Okay, so for my cleanser, this is actually the Hanua Skincare Pa'akai Cleanser. I um, had to put this in this bottle because right before we left, my um, Pa'akai Cleanser bottle broke and the top uh, broke off and or dropped and the top broke off in the shower. So this was the only thing that I had um, that was empty to put this in. So that's what's in here. So I did take that. My um, second cleanser I brought with me was I decanted some of the Leah Lani um, Pomple Mousse um, oil cleanser. I, I put it in this empty bottle in here. It was perfect. I didn't want to take the big bottle because it is four ounces and it's glass. So I was trying to limit, you know, the sizes just for traveling. So that worked great. So I just did did two cleansers. Um, so at night, even though I didn't wear makeup, I was wearing sunscreen, I did do a double cleanse. I would cleanse first with the um, Leolani Pumple Mousse Tropical Cleansing Oil and then Hanua Skincare Pa'akai Cleanser, and then I would use this in the morning. And for my second cleanse, I did bring my Zoe by Quicksonic to cleanse my skin. I used this every day when I was there in the evening. Um, just because you're playing in the ocean, you have, you're reapplying your sunscreen, you know, all that stuff is sitting on top of your skin. I just wanted to make sure that I got it all off and this was a great treat to bring with us. Now for my treatment products for my skin, I did keep it really simple when I was there. Um, I brought my Hanua skincare. I did um, Aloha You Serum. Aloha You Serum is one of my favorite serums. It's got coconut water, hibiscus, noni. So we've got antioxidants. It's hydrating. It you know it protects the skin. It firms and plumps it. So Aloha You Serum. I brought Olena Beauty Oil. So Olena Beauty Oil was such a great oil to bring with me because I got attacked by mosquitoes. They loved my legs. I think they were mos mos mosquitoes because I did catch a couple of them biting me, but that was the first night. And after that, I put Olena Beauty Oil on all my bites. It calmed them down. And then at night before I would go out, I would put Olena on my legs and on my arms and it worked as a mosquito repellent. They left me alone for the re my rest of the trip. So beautiful multitasker, not only great for your face, but it was also great for any bug bites that we got. 
Um, the reason why I stuck with bringing most of my Hanua skincare is I'm traveling to a warm environment and um, in the summer times is usually when my rosacea, I have rosacea breakouts or flare ups. And I know Hanua keeps my skin nice and calm and normalized. And that's why I brought Hanua with me. I love Hanua. I can't go wrong with it. My skin loves it. So for my toner, I brought the Mad Hippie Hydrating Nutrient Mist. Now this mist is great. I love this mist, but this bottle did not travel well like the one did in, it did in Japan. It leaked on the way there and it leaked on the way back. So I have half a bottle left. And when we got there, the consistency changed. It's like a, it comes out like a foam now and it feels thicker, like it's almost like a serum. So I had to spray it in the palms of my hand, hands and apply it like a serum because it come, when it comes out of the spray, it comes out like a foam. So I don't know what happened. It did, you know, go through a couple of changes of environment. So we went from California, which when we left was like in the 60s, we went to New York, which was in the low 40s, and then we went to, you know, high 80s and 90% humidity. So it did affect it. And um, so um, I don't know. And I think the next time I will decant this in something else because, like I said, it did leak out of the bottle. And I made sure everything was tight, but it still leaked right out of here. So I don't know. And then plus the consistency changed, so I don't like that. All right, so um, another treatment product I brought was the Lil Fox Prickly Pear uh, Beauty Illuminating Beauty Nectar. I love this. I use this at night um, before I applied my moisturizer. It just, you know, helps with, you know, antioxidant protection, hydrating, moisturizing the skin, and giving me that brightness in my skin. And, and I brought my... Lil Fox Kalahari Magic Wand here for under my eyes and to spa treat my fine lines and wrinkles. I didn't bring the, I wanted to bring the line softener from In Light because I've been testing that from the Beauty Heroes box so I can give you guys a really good review. But I decided not to bring it because where I was at, it was a really warm environment and um i was afraid that the bombs would melt and leak into my bag so i didn't bring any bombs with me my next treatment product was a new love by the way it's the omni um, moisture cream from natural logic i love this moisturizer this has been the perfect moisturizer for my skin i use it as a night cream and it was fabulous. It kept my skin really hydrated when I was there and moisturized and gave my skin that really glass look. It was just so pretty. But I am so in love with this moisturizer and um, it will definitely be a repurchase. <laughs> and then I did bring two facial um, sun protections. I brought the Blissoma Photonic Light Shifting Solution and Malu protecting day cream with the SPF of 30. So this is an SPF of 25. Now I tried this when I was there and I would say I did not like it. Um, I like it for when I'm here at home and the weather is a little bit, or it's not humid and when it's warm out. We have a dry heat here, not humid, but this did a lot of peeling over my skincare and it did not play well when I went in and out of the ocean, even after I reapplied it. So I did not like it when I was there. And um, I definitely would not be taking it with me on vacation <laughs> again. And Malu was such a lifesaver. If not, she not only protected my skin, but she protected my husband's skin. So I did not get any sunburn on my skin. I was in the sun pretty much all day <laughs> and I only reapply had to reapply this once during the day she did such a beautiful job at protecting my skin like I said the UV index there was eight and Malou did fabulous even in the water so love Malou favorite SPF protection okay so that is it for my skincare now 
For hair care, I brought um, the Intersense um, Hydrating Hair Cream Bath and um, Conditioner. I did bring their uh, Quiet Calm Curl Control. Now this did not work for me. It kind of makes my hair feel heavy and um, not, kind of makes it feel dirty. I don't know, it weighs it down a lot. Um, it didn't help with the frizz there. Um, it just really makes my hair stay damp. I, I'm just not really a fan of it and definitely would not be a repurchase. So I'm so glad that I I bought the, the travel um, pack from Beauty Heroes. I think it was like $45 with the shampoo and conditioner and a bunch of styling products. Now the Sweet Spirit Leave-In Conditioner, I do love this. I find this as a really fabulous product and it detangles the hair well and just gives it like the perfect amount of moisture before you blow dry. Um, for my other hair styling, I brought with me the Styling Jelly from Mo Me. Now I love this styling jelly so far. It has been working really well for my hair. It did not hold up to the humidity there in Turks and Caicos, but I mean, I really think with, you know, 85 to 90%, you would, you, you would find it hard for a lot of products to hold up to that humidity unless there were some sort of chemicals in it. But this, it smells lovely. It works really well. I will do a review on this line soon because I did pick up the Mercedes pick from um, Beauty Heroes. And then my deodorant I brought with me was the Kiss My Face um, Active Life deodorant. I love this deodorant. It's been working really well for me and I will be repurchasing this. Now for body care, I don't have it in here because I finished it and I left the bottle um, in the room, but I had the Leolani Cocoa Infusion in Mahana. Um, I think it's Mahana. It's a co coconut, um, scent um you know i love leolani's cocoa infusions for the for the body especially um you know in the warm weather just my skin just loves like the oils it was just such a beautiful treat um for my trip there now the next thing i brought with me was another tool so i did bring with me my kinga ultrasonic spatula now, the reason why I brought this with me is because since it was humid, that sometimes, you know, it takes a little bit for your products to penetrate into the skin, especially oils. So I did bring this plus I use the pad function to kind of help firm up my skin a little bit when we go out in the evening because I did not bring my zip with me. And the reason why I didn't bring my zip with me is I get a little nervous traveling with that because it is you know, if, you, if I was to buy a new one, it would be $500. And if it was to get lost, I'd be like super stressed and disappointed about that. So Kinga works well. And um, I did give my husband a facial with this. We did some extractions on him. And I did extractions on myself because one thing I love about humid weather is that extractions are so easy to do. Like everything just comes out of your pores. I just love it. It's wonderful. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is what was in my travel bag. What do you think? <laughs> so let's do some unboxings really quick before I let you go. So I got the Pearl S box waiting for me. And this is the one with the Skin Owl. Now, how many of you guys picked up this box? It's such a great deal. So you got in here so this is what it looks like so we got the neck plus and the Mackie Berry um, Beauty Whip which I love so this is a full size of the Mackie Berry um, Beauty Whip I have been so in love with this ever since um, it was released last year in the Beauty Heroes box so full size goes for $68 and then I've been wanting to try the Neck Plus from Skin Owl, and that was the second item in the box, which is also a full size. It's four ounces, and it goes for $68 as well. And the box 
was only $39.95, so you can't beat that. So I'm really super excited to try this to see if it helps like firm this area and helps with you know my chest wrinkles. So that's fun. This next one is actually a really big box and it's heavy. And can you guess where it's from? So Natural Logic extended their 30% off sale. So I picked up some more stuff because I want to try everything Natural Logic. Because everything I've tried so far has been absolutely gorgeous. And I'm falling in love with it. And I want to be able to do a really nice review for you guys. So, so here is the card and we have a little note from Tony. It says, thank you so much, Jen. I hope all is wonderful in your world. Enjoy your beautiful skin. Love, Tony. So sweet. Okay, so everything is going to be beautifully packaged. So she gave me some samples of the Fido um, Nectar Radiance Oil, which I already have and love. That oil is amazing, guys. Um, it has so many beautiful antioxidants. Uh, it's, it's like an antioxidant treat for your skin. It's really, really great to use, you know, during the day. It really protects your skin and infuses your skin with radiance. I love that oil. And then I got a sample of Soul Milk Mask. I love this mask. I got this in my last order and I fell head over heels for it. It was so nourishing, hydrating, and moisturizing for my skin. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, so I did get quite a few items here. Let's see. So I had tried some samples from my last order. My last order I got was the Omni Moisture Cream and what, what else did I get? Unmasked, that's what I ordered. And then by mistake, Tony sent me um, Soul Milk instead of the Omni Moisture Cream. So since it was already here at my house, I asked her if I could just keep it and then she could send me the um, send me Omni Moisture Cream and I'll just pay the difference. So she did. And I am absolutely in love with it. So I got quite a few treats here, but I think I'm missing one. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, so, all right guys. <clears throat> so what I ordered was, I ordered um, Peptide Firming Serum. But this first one is the Rarify. Now I tried a sample of this and I loved it. It was only like about two days worth. It was just a little sample, but I really, really loved it. So I ordered a full size. And so everything comes beautifully packaged, guys. And of course, you know, I had to order another peptide firming serum. I'm so happy that she brought this back. And um, I just ran out before I uh, went on vacation, so perfect timing. All right, so I got a sample of the Alpha Beta Peel. And I tried it once and I fell in love, so I ordered the full size. Now, this is the Ancient Earth, I believe. Let's see, I haven't tried this yet, but I just went ahead and ordered it because she was having that 30% off sale. And like I said, I've fallen in love with everything that I've tried so far. And I just want to try everything and do a really nice review for you guys. So I got the Ancient Earth Micro Exfoliant. I'm super excited to try this. Woohoo! I loved Andy, the Green uh, Queen's review on the Natural Logic products. It was so, so good. And I ordered. The Flourishing Cleanser, super excited about this, and the Hydrate Nutrient Tonic, woohoo, let's spray it, uh oh, a little bit, it leaked a little bit, 
Oh, did you see that? <laughs> it just leaked out of the cap. So it comes out in like a heavy mist. So you would have to pump it in your into your palms and press it into your skin. Can't really quite tell what it smells like. It smells a little bit like roses, like a rose water. See how reactive my skin is? It's getting red. <laughs> so I ordered that and then I ordered another Omni moisture cream. That is how much I love it. <laughs> All right, guys, so I cannot wait to try all these Natural Logic products and do a really good thorough review for you. Like I said, everything I've tried so far has been amazing and I've fallen in love with it. And I just think that this is a really beautiful line and I'm very excited to dive in it a little bit more. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you have a wonderful um, rest of your week. Oh, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Mwah. I'm thankful for all of you. I am going to try and get a video up on um, Friday if I can. If not, then I will see you guys soon, okay? Have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your loved ones. Sending you guys all an abundance of aloha and thank you for being here. Love you guys. Mwah. Mahalo. Mm -hmm.